Hello, welcome to the fifth. I think it's the fifth. Yeah, um, yeah, it's the fifth. Sorry, that's embarrassing. That's like 30 seconds of the video wasted. Um, Okay, um, so, yeah, I'm just, like, going from my CD collection, saying what I know about the album, what I think about it, if I have listened to it, uh, in, like, ten minute-ish segments. You probably watch the other ones if you're watching this anyway. Guns N' Roses, um, Appetite for Destruction. I thought this would be good, like, I thought this would be, like, amazing, like, the, one of the best rock albums. Um, it's alright. It's pretty good. Ah, Axel Jones's voice really gets on you on your nerves. Same with like ACDC. I've never been a big fan of stuff that sounds like this. Uh, I only bought that album because I thought it would be good. Like I thought it'd be really good. Um, you know it was okay. This album as well. I got. Uh, this got given to me. And this is like, this is okay. Uh, I don't think it's as good as Appetite for Destruction, but it's, uh, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's good. It's, it's definitely like, up there, maybe. Uh, no. Sorry, I actually got the wrong, that's actually the album cover. I just wanted an alternate one there, because uh, I found this cool. I found this as the cool album um, cover. Next up we have Hosier's self-titled, I think it's debut, it might be, it might not be, I don't know. Uh, I got this because I recognised the album cover from Take Me To Church, and I listened to the album, and it's, um, it's quite nice, you know, it's like a, it's a pretty chill album. You know, um, like sometimes I've actually re-listened to this, I just put it on to, uh, to like, chill, um, you know, it's, 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 it's very good. Um, you know, obviously there's like Take Me to Church and there's like From Eden in there, which is good work song. You know, not one of my favourite albums of all time or whatever. But it's just a pretty decent album to have. It's sort of like Leisure from Blur. Uh God that that was ages ago now. It was like an hour ago. Um If I do that it's to turn my computer back on. Okay. Uh so I've got this like Jimi Hendrix collection thing. It's very messy. I don't think it's not very well produced. Uh, I have I have listened to this. Um, but you know I've never been a big Hendrix person. If I'm honest, I do, I I do want to listen to his music more, but I just. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, really. I can understand, though, why people would like it. His good, his, like, his skill is obviously amazing. Um, we've got Unknown Pleasures. This was an album I listened to because, like, I saw the album cover everywhere, and it was, like, to find new music, I just typed in, like, best albums of all time, and this came up, like, so much. And I thought this was, like, not a dance record. I thought this was, like, Pet Shop Boys sort of thing. But like I heard the first song and I was like, oh, this is quite depressing. And I heard the second song and I was like, oh, this is really depressing. And now this is, uh, you know, this is one of my favourite albums of all time now. Um, I actually, I prefer Closer by a bit, but it changes all the time. Uh, Clo Closer is very good. I think it's, I think it's underrated compared to this album because this album came out first, you know, it was the most popular, and it was the only, it came out while Ian Curtis was still alive as well. Um, yeah, um, great album. I love, it, I love it. Every song in it is good. Um, Hot Fuss by The Killers. I got this album again because I recognised it, and then I listened to it, and it was uh, it was it was it was pretty good. Obviously, there's Mr. Brightside. Jenny was a friend of mine. It's quite good. Somebody told me it's quite good as well. 
uh, and you're a star. You know, I don't, I don't mind this arm. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Again, it's like cozy air. It's just pretty chill to just have on in the background. You know, it's nothing too extreme. Like, it's not boring. It's just, like, chill. I don't know if... I don't know how to distinguish those, really. Like, I don't know how to physically say, like, what determines it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, Kings of Bullion come down, some down. I got this again because I recognise the name. A lot of this is just, like, stuff that I've found that I thought was interesting. So I just got it to listen to it. Um, I actually like the CD of this. See, you need to like see. You can sort of see like a a tree. You need to get the out the 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 light on it to see it, which I find quite cool because otherwise it just looks like a plain yellow CD. Um, this album also is quite chill. I feel like I'm saying that for a lot of these buns this video. But you know, the one of those albums where I haven't listened to them too much. Uh, this, it was, I just own it for the nostalgia because, like, I was, I watched this when I was, like, four. Because this was, um, this was, like, an all-in-need thing, and it was, like, it's just, like, some big animated thing. It's just nice. It's just a nice video. It's just, I like... I just like how it's written. It's good. It's just a good. It's just a cute little kids album. I don't. There's nothing too much to say about it really. I think I'm actually gonna go get some more albums in a minute. Um, Coda by Led Zeppelin. I've listened to this and I thought it was okay. I thought it was quite boring. If I'm honest, it's not. It's put me off Led Zeppelin. If I'm honest, uh, I've never been a big fan of Led Zeppelin. I should be though. Like I should get into it really. Because uh, I do like all the sounds, like, I like the hits, basically. Um, I love Stay With Heaven. It's one of my favourite songs of all time. Uh, you know, this is a Led Zeppelin, like, remasters of the hits. And there's loads of songs that I love on this. There's, like, um, Dazed and Confused, Immigrant Song, I really like Immigrant Song. Stay With Heaven as well. Kashmir. I, I've never... I have listened to Led Zeppelin for a fair few times, and it's never. I've never got it. I've never really understood why people like it so much, and I understand the history behind it as well. Um, but it's never really stood out to me, really. Um, but you know, I can understand why people would like it. It's a, it's a pretty good album. Like the vocals are pretty good, and the guitars are amazing. But yeah, I'm sorry. I've never really. Um, I don't really like music. I'm just gonna go get some more CDs quickly. Okay, there isn't. Right, there isn't much here, but we don't have much time anyway. So there's like the best of John Lennon. I've heard a lot of this. Um, I haven't actually listened to this in full, but uh. You know, I might one day, like, if I find someone who's, like, really into John Lennon, uh, I might give them this as a gift or just, like, play it when they're around in my house or whatever. And this, I really, I really like, look at this. I got it, and it's, like, a little paper CD thing. And uh, apparently this was, like, actually common. Uh, it, like, they got this in the news. I find that really cool that that was, like, a thing. Um, it's just all do that. People never buy the news anymore. So, they would actually make people want to buy the news. Um, yeah, it's a bit sad though that that's not a thing anymore. And it's quite cool. Okay, this is weird, right? I got this again from a car boot because it was like, I thought it'd be like Metallica or whatever. It's not. I don't really like this album a lot. It's really like cheesy metal. It's like what? you'd find in like I don't know I don't even know how to describe this but you know what I mean by it surely it's just like metal that would be in like a kids film it's like what's the wild soon we're gonna do a guitar solo stuff like that and then 
I was looking for my mum and dad's CDs, and they actually had another Meat Love CD, uh, which I found really weird, and she explained to me what this is. I mean, just look at the song titles. Um, I'm trying to, like... Like, come on. You have to surely know. Like, you surely guess that. <laughs> like, it makes sense now, look at that. Uh, yeah. I feel like these albums, I feel like these are getting worse. Maybe I'm just getting more bored or more tired. I don't know, hopefully they're good. I don't think any of them are good actually, now I think about it, but bye.